Unbelievable, all revealed how APC unknowingly made a revelation that Jonathan rejected the defection order. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, it has been rumored a long time now going on that um, APC was trying to Leo or Kaju Jonathan to come alongside with them. And um, in speaking, someone unknowingly made a statement that actually Jonathan rejected the offer. You know, someone like Wiki has sent a strong message to uh, former president Ebele Jonathan that if you want to contest for your remaining one tenor, it will be best for you to do it under the platform of the People Democratic Party rather than soy your name and join in this train that everybody in Nigeria is tired of this administration. And so um, yesterday we saw that APC made a statement saying that, um, oh, even if Jonathan joins them today, he's not going to get an automatic ticket because there are people already lined up. In case you are not aware, Shiwadra Medbola Tinubu's campaign posters are already on ground. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's strong, it's ongoing, and um, this is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Thank you. The ruling of Progressive Congress APC is seeking for ways to convince the former president, good luck Billy Jonathan, to defect to its fold. To make this happen, APC led by Governor Malambuni had been making serious overturn as Jonathan to convince him to dump the opposition People Democratic Party and join the ruling party. On the other hand, PDP leaders are making efforts to stop Jonathan from defecting to APC. This is because they see him as an asset who they would like to who they would like to stay back in their party. Jonathan is yet to decide whether he will stay or move. Why seeking ways to convince Jonathan to defect to its fold, APC made several promises to him. These promises were made publicly by Secretary to Buni Committee. Senator James, when he spoke on the issue, APC promised to accept Jonathan According, accord him the status of a founding member and most importantly, allow him to contest for presidency under its party. But the party was very quick to reveal that it would not give Jonathan his presidential ticket automatically. Rather, APC disclosed that Jonathan will have to face other aspirants in the race and contest for APC presidential ticket ahead of 2023 election. That is the deal broker, but APC revealed it's not knowing that it will prove counterproductive. The revelation alone made Jonathan to reject their proposition where someone, an APC chieftain, said Jonathan actually said he was not in for a gamble. Deflecting and later losing at the primaries would be more of a shame. There are other potential candidates in APC as we speak. The vice president for status, Ashwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu and others. And so Jonathan rejected the offer after looking at all the odds and all that has to be. So my people, this is why uh, Jonathan rejected the offer. There are put three potential candidates from the Southwest, since we know that um, the Southwest continue to say that the presidency for um, 2023 must come from the South. We know that um, the vice president is one candidate that some Northerners are rooting for. Ashiwadu Medbola Tinubu's campaign posters are already all over the place. We are aware of that. We also know that um, uh, we also know that uh, 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 the person of uh, the the chairman of the governor's forum, Fayemi, uh, also I mean is looking for everybody wants promotion, also wants to get that as well. So I mean, when you look at it, there are a lot of things involved in getting the party primaries, and um, probably after Jonathan, probably due consideration and all that, decided to say, you know what. To your turn to Israel. But the truth of the matter is, 
Why are we recycling these people? APC, PDP, why? Just why do we keep recycling the same set of people? What exactly is going on? What's wrong? Why can't the youths come on board? Why can't they come on board and give, you know, direction into leadership, you know, and give their own position and become, you know, voices as well? Why can't the youths, with all that they've been endowed with, with all the opportunities, with all that they've done, all the exposure, well-read, thought over time, mature. I mean, a time, once upon a time, you have to acknowledge that your child has grown and give your child responsibilities. If you never do, your child may never mature to full potential. Why others who have given their children the opportunity are moving up the rank and ladder and doing well? Look, for instance, France, you will keep being in one position because you feel that you are the Alpha and Omega. Nobody has that position, only God. No man can have that position. So the truth of the matter is, until Nigeria begins to wake up to the reality that the youth have something to offer, they may never, the country, you know, I mean, they, they want us to stay together by force at all, at all cost. No matter what happened, they want us to stay together at all cost. Yeah? If you want us to stay together at what cost, then you must do something worthwhile. We must see the benefit of being together as a one nation. But where the people have no, I mean, cannot even relate to what is going on on ground, does not even, I mean, have nothing to do with the nation, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? So there are so many lapses in this leadership called Nigeria, you know. So we boldly tell the youth, do not contest because you will not win. You know, go and look at the Senate. See how they are saying uh, we reject electronic transfer of results. Why? Because it will expose a lot of things. Electronic transfer of results will reflect the people's true intention. But they have already gotten people they want to, you know, to, 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 to be in certain position. I don't know when we're going to get delivered or out of this very predicament. I don't know when. I can't tell you exactly when, but God will help us because um, things are not the way they should be. Leave us a comment. We sincerely love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.